what I want to show you next is a neat feature that we added for uh, validating responses. Uh, so one of the things that you can do with the JSON API module is you can inherit the normalizers uh, and using the serialization system you can modify the response of the JSON API uh, payload that you sent to the users. So uh, in order to make sure that you are still sending valid JSON API responses, we added a, a JSON API schema in the module and all of the responses are validated against the schema. If one particular response is not conforming to that schema, it means that you have something probably wrong in your custom code or uh, that there is a bug with, uh, with the module. So uh, I have one of the payloads that is not conforming to the valid JSON API schema or format and uh, I'm getting a 500 error because uh, I'm having this validation turned on in, in my site and I'm gonna uh, show you what this looks like. So I'm gonna send the request because I deleted all my logs uh, for uh, so I can show you what this looks like. You can see that there are no logs uh, available and I, uh, this request comes back and it says that see the logs for details. So uh, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna refresh this and I'm probably gonna see, yes, JSON API, I'm gonna filter for that. And you see that there are different uh, different validation errors. Um, so you can just open one and see uh, what the validation error looks like. This says that uh, the property meta is required and uh, it, it will be explicit on what is uh, failing. And uh, you can either uh, see if this is an issue that you need to report to the JSON API uh, issue queue, or maybe that is related to your custom code. Um, as you can see, uh, this is pretty uh, pretty useful when you're developing, but uh, it can be very annoying when this is in production. So to turn this on and off, uh, what we have done is to use uh, assertions. Um, assertion errors uh, are turned on usually on the local environment. So I'm showing you my settings.php file. And at the end, you will see that there is uh, an, an the conditional inclusion of settings.local.php. And, uh, and that is usually uh, used only for local development. And uh, that's where you want to enable your assertions. So if you have this settings.local.php file in there, I'm gonna change there. Uh, so I'm now in settings local PHP. In there, there is a setting that says search options, search active, true. So if you set this to false, you will not get any of these errors and you will just return without uh, creating a 500 error. And that's what you should really set in your production environment. Uh, but for your local environment, I, I invite you to use this. And this is these are the defaults of uh, for Drupal. Um, I, didn't, I didn't have to, to change any of this. And uh, this was already set to um, get half a search active inside of the the local.php file. Um, so yeah, uh, make sure to turn this on in your local environment and turn it off in your production environment so you can validate all the responses and make sure that you're conforming to the specification. And uh, that is very important when uh, your clients assume that you are in fact adhering uh, to the specification in a strict manner.